Hello, I'm Greg Greenlee, and welcome to the second episode of the NMAP tutorial series. Uh, episode two is going to cover the TCP Connect Scan flag for NMAP. Um, in later um, episodes, we're going to talk about the other flags, but right now we're going to talk about the TCP Connect Scan. So you may ask, well, what is NMAP? Uh, and anyway, I think we covered this in episode one, but just to give you a refresher, NMAP is a port scanner, and it can also be used as a host discovery application. Now, you may ask me, well, what is a port? Well, if you think of a computer as a business, and in that the business, there are departments that offer different services. Uh, so you have your, your business, and you may have your different services. You might have a um, marketing department, uh, you may have the sales department, uh, you may have the uh, accounting department, and you might have the tech department. So if the, if the target computer that you want to connect to is the business, then you are the other computer. You are the, the source computer. And in order to communicate with that computer and its given services, you need to be able to define what service you want to connect to and that is what a port is so say for instance you wanted to contact the marketing department or one of the departments on the uh, the target computer so then you put your data we're going to say, uh, symbolize the data as an envelope we're going to address it uh, the target computer's address is 10 so we're going to address the the data with 10 and it needs to know how to get to that uh, that actual port or that department so we're going to say attention let's say um, marketing or sales and then we send that over we're going to say uh, tech support <laughs> so then we we'll send that over to the target computer target computer then opens up that envelope and says, or looks at that envelope and says hey this goes to tech support tech support it then gets delivered to tech support tech support sees a request sends us back a response and that's basically what a port is on a computer uh, it uh, that port is um, has services running on it and that's basically how you uh, connect to certain services such as HTTP, uh, such as DNS, things like that. So we're going to jump on our uh, on the the Ubuntu VMware machine here, and we're going to demonstrate the TCP Connect Scan. And TCP is a connection or connection oriented protocol, and it initiates uh, or it establishes communication through a three way handshake. Uh, that three-way handshake starts out with a send packet that stands for synchronize. So a send packet is sent from the uh, from the computer uh, that requests services, and then contacts the target computer, which then sees the send packet and sends back a send ACK. That stands. Uh, that's basically an acknowledgement of the send packet. Once the initial computer uh, receives that send act, it then sends an act, uh, basically an acknowledgement acknowledging the send act. Yeah, kind of crazy, but that's what it does. And that's the three-way handshake. And we're actually going to see that here uh, once we uh, start up the uh, start up the NMAP, and then we're going to actually capture the packets sent back and forth between the computers using Wireshark. So basically, once a full connection is established to a port, that port is considered open once if it sends that synac. Uh, if that port is closed, then it will basically uh, send a, a reset act, and then you will know that that actual port is closed. Now, the one caveat to a TCP scan is that uh, if the firewall is actually blocking that port, then if you try to make a connection to it, a full connection, it will actually log that connection in the, uh, in the firewall logs, uh, which makes a TCP scan not so great. Uh, so there's an actual, uh, another actual scan that you can do called a SIN scan. Uh, we'll cover that in, in later episodes. So uh, right now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, get into uh, the actual uh, NMAP TCP scan.
So what we're going to do here is I am going to uh, start up um, actually this thing is going so slow okay <laughs> here we are I'm going to go ahead and type in the nmap command nmap dash lowercase s capital T and then I'm going to type in the actual IP address of the target host which is 192.168.1.156 and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start up Wireshark here. And as you can see, I already put a, a, a filter in Wireshark so that we can only see the communication between the target computer and the, uh, the initial computer. See so the IP address there, 192.168.1.156, and we can see that is either the source or the destination. And then we're going to start up Wireshark. And once we start Wireshark, we are going to start our scan. <clears throat> now, Wireshark is started. We're going to start our scan. It should be fairly quick. And you're going to see a number of different uh, ports that are actually open on the computer, on the target computer, that is. So there we are. And we see there's some. Uh, Ports open here, FTP, FTP, SSH, HTTP, RPC BI, NetBIOS, Microsoft DS, uh, AFP, and NFS. And if we uh, look back at, you can actually uh, tell that one of these ports are open while we go into a web browser and type it in 192.168.1.156. And once we type that in, you'll actually see that that service is actually up and running because that computer is actually running Apache. And you can see uh, the web page that came up. Now we're going to look at Wireshark here. We're going to look at the communication uh, between the two computers here. And as you can see here, you can see an actual uh, send packet going to the destination port of uh, HTTP. Uh, you can actually see here is port 80. And down here, you can actually, we'll go to the top top here, and then you can actually see the uh, send act sent by the target computer, and then you can actually see the act being sent from um, the initial computer. And then you can also see that it actually tried to establish a connection on port 443 for HTTPS, that port was obviously closed, so the target computer actually sent a reset act back to me. So you can see the actual uh, TCP um, communication here. You can see the uh, the send, the initial send, the send act sent from uh, the uh, target computer, and then the act sent. Uh, by the initial computer and then you can see the reset act tearing down the actual um, session that's all I have right now tune in later for more on nmap in our next episode thank you and thanks for watching